All right, so what's up, guys? We're going to be discussing something that, you know, it's in an, an age-old theory that three heads are better than one. Oh, wait. Maybe that's two heads are better than one. Either way, two heads sometimes may be better than one. Let's take a look at some pictures. Let's do this. Alright guys, so this isn't my first time reviewing a product from Lizard Box Mods, they're a company out of Italy, and you know, before what I, I, I reviewed the Evolution Pro, and it was considered one of the smaller 20, 18650 battery mods available, squonk mods available, and it was nice. I had a few issues with that, but it was a very good overall mod. Now, we're going to be discussing one of their rarer devices it is a one of three and I don't think it's one of three because he wanted it to be rare I think it's one of three because not a lot of people wanted it um, nonetheless I think that it's a good device personally maybe but um, it is the VCR volume 5 with uh, playback and rewind and record and yeah it's a big device okay so don't get me wrong I mean it is it's a it's a hefty uh, beast right now and uh, I'm going to show you around down below, maybe get you a little bit comfortable, maybe uh, let you let it all soak in for a second, because I feel like you're going to need a second to let it soak in and to really uh, evaluate how nice this thing is. Maybe? Let's do this. Alright guys, so this is the packaging the big little gem ski itself comes in. And it's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the typical box that a lizard box mod would come in, and I believe that, you know, this box is pretty familiar as I have reviewed a box mod from them before. Open it up. Got some foam, uh, foam-esque type stuff going on right here. And then you're going to see this very large cutout. Looks like you would stash uh, your pot, or you would stash your uh, your collectibles in this, you know. And then you would put this back on and hide it. All right, guys. So let's take a look at the big little gem ski itself now. This is a rather large device. Now, I, there's no getting around that. There is two squonk bottles in here, and they are capable of holding eh, close to nine nine milliliters of e-juice on each, so 18 milliliters of e-juice in all. Now, let's take a look at the internals first. I like this part right here. Let me zoom out a little bit, guys. Sorry. I like this part right here as it is a sliding mechanism that magnetizes at the top, so that's very nice, very reminiscent of the evolution box mod that they created now this is a 21700 and it will fit a 2700 as well what I like about the contacts here this is pure uh, silver 0.99 silver right here this right here so you will need to keep that clean as it will get a little gunky over time I'm not sure if this is silver as well but it is a little springy and that will adjust to battery size which is very nice Looking at the internals up here, there's something I do want to show you guys. How clean this is, and I'm imagining this is wide because there's a switchboard in there or something that makes it so each of these 510s have their own separate current at a separate time. Now, I do like these 510 systems. It's probably one of my favorite 510 systems. It's called the Smart 510, and uh, you adjust your pin below with this little gear and these are palladium and rhodium plated and it's just nice this is one of my favorite 510 systems and it's just because it's the ease of use you're never gonna have an Addy that sits not flush and you could technically have your Addy sitting any way you want because you can adjust it below taking a look out you're gonna see it says negative and positive very nicely right there um, you're gonna see my bottles are a little bit up but that's because my tubes aren't long enough to really reach all the way up but it still works nonetheless because they are in these little guards and it makes it very nice when you're squeezing because it will hit up against here instead of hitting your battery which is very nicely done I will put a battery in here now very ease of use for the battery if I will say it's going to be positive down as you see and then putting the door on very easy you just got to get it in these little guides and it goes right up super nice now there is a little bit of a gap here which I'm not happy with but it, it doesn't affect how the mod sits or anything so it's good to go taking a look at the front of the device this is where the magic happens if you will um, you got the DNA board 
DNA 75C. They got their custom um, screen on here. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys to check this out. Uh, checking out what they got. They got Watts ne Nefethal 30. Sorry if I blow these up. Nefi 48. SS 316L. Nefi 30. Nickel 200. Stainless Steel 316, Titanium 1, and back to Watts. You can adjust your Watts here if you'd like. Uh, you got your settings, which is going to have all your system info. And then you got your stats, and you're going to see that I have a decent amount of puffs on here. I got 1,400 puffs, and I've only been using this for about a week. Now, that does, I believe, take the total of both atomizers you're hitting, so that's nice. Which would be actually nice if they showed you each individual hit count, but I mean, it, it's okay. Then you got your settings as well. You have your stealth mode. You got your time and date. You got your screen brightness, your temperature that you'd like to use, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Lock settings. Uh, you got your replay warmth, stealth level, temperature protect, which mine is on, and then back. And then the last little thing they have is a trend. So yeah, this is uh, you know their typical screen. They this was on the other box mod that I own by them. One thing I wish that they would have done, and this is just me being picky. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but the way they have these five tens on, they're not the same. This one has the lines facing this way. This one has the lines facing that way. I wish they would have put them on, you know, the same. But you know, either way, you're gonna have mod or RDAs on here, so it doesn't really matter. I will explain this button here in a second. All right, guys. So what's gonna fit on top? Um, a 22 is going to be your best bet, and I know some people are going to be like, "Man, I can't deal with that. Look how shorter that, how much shorter that one is than that one." Now, yeah, I get that, but you could also have two of the same RDA if you wanted to. You could put two, two biochips if you had them, wink, wink, or you could put two wickeds on if you have them. But I, I like the the contrast here: the black, the silver, the black, the black, the silver, the black, the silver, and the silver buttons. To me, this looks classy. I think it looks nice. I know that this is a Goliath of a mod. You could almost say that you could kill someone with this if you threw it at them. I don't know, but that's what it is. All right, so what compares to this? What is the same size? Is there anything the same size? So in comparison, this is the other Lizard Box mod that I own. Um, this thing towers over this uh, quite a bit. This was considered one of the smaller box mods ever made. This is a single 18650. And this is the Evolution Pro by them. It has the same little reminiscent door with the smart 510 system. Now, it does have a bigger 510, which is funny. But that's because, you know, this is meant for two smaller RDAs. So what else compares? This is the uh, brick oven, brick and mortar oven that I have right here. And it is... Uh, comparable, but it's a little bit shorter, as this is a LiPo device, but it is a DNA nonetheless. So yeah, that's comparable, I guess, that way. And the last one that is more readily available is the drone. Now, it is a little bit shorter, but I would say um, not really comparable, I guess, you know. Um, Width-wise, it's going to be shorter, but back-way-wise, it's actually longer. So, I mean, for what it is, guys, you know, it is very thin this way. It's just very wide this way. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is how it actually functions. Right now, if you have it on the, the circle, which is, um, you know, no current, it's going to say check atomizer. Go to the left. It's going to read the atomizer. Now, do not make the mistake of going over here because it will not read this one unless you go to the middle, press the button, go here. Now it will reread it. Now I guess you could unscrew it and put it back on and it will say, you know, new atomizer, check atomizer, and it will reread it. But that is very functional, this button. I just wish it wasn't there. It's very aesthetically unpleasing, this button right here. If it would have been in the back, it would have been nicer, maybe somewhere here. But it serves a function. It serves a purpose. It makes it so the current breaks and then it will recheck your atomizer on this side. But yeah, that's about it with this... Uh, you know, some people call it a shocker, a taser, whatever you want to call it, double barrel. Yeah, that's it, guys. Let's go back up on top. All right, guys, so if there's one thing that I can really let you know and really let you feel, it's the fact that I'm going to try to keep this short, sweet, into the mother effing point. All right, so one thing you'll notice is um, Lizard Box Mods is a higher-end mod-making company out of Italy and they don't normally make devices like this and I believe that's why it's one of three 
Now, yes, it is a large device, and you may question the practicality of it, but I believe, personally, that it is very practical. Um, I know that this video and this, this mod itself is going to cause a lot of discussion. It's going to cause a lot of hate. It's going to be a, a lot of rocks thrown in my face. I, I, I understand. I get it. Just, I'll take you to a com comfortable place, okay? Just understand that instead of having two devices, I have one, and it has two RDAs on it. Now, some people get enraged by difference, by different things. Me, I embrace it. I feel like this could be unique, innovative, different from your everyday cookie cutter, just single squonk mod. In a vape industry where, you know, most devices look about the same, you got the side squonk, you got the back squonk, or that's about it. Um, I guess you have a pump system now, you have all these different things, but they all in conference, in circle, the same typical idea. Alright guys, so let's just get into the positives. Uh, the first positive to me is the practicality. Now, this could be subjective, it could be, you know, whatever. I feel like it does what it needs to do properly. It does, it gives you two different RDAs with two different flavors on the go, on the fly, and it does it well. You can put in two different nice size bottles, those are Lost Vape bottles. They hold about eight to nine mils comfortably and that keeps me going all day which is the next positive I can usually use one 21 700 battery and two f full bottles of juice and it'll last me through work it'll last me all day and that's a good thing that's practicality that works um, to me I like that there's a DNA 75 C board that's a very nice thing I like that you can spoon vape if you need to you know if you're laying there with a friend or your girlfriend you can spoon vape very nice they don't like this flavor you can hit the button Oh, you don't like that flavor? Let me switch for you. And then you can spoon vape. Um, I like the fact that it is right hand and technically left hand uh, accessible. Now, you're going to have to switch each one anyway if you're going to be vaping because you're going to have to squonk from either side. I like that it is unique. I like that they thought out of the box on this. I like that they knew people were going to hate on this. They knew people weren't going to like it, but they still went out with it anyway. Yes, there's only three, but there's three people in the world that are really enjoying this, and I am one of them. Uh... Other than that, I do like the 510 system. It is one of my favorite 510 systems. I like that you can adjust your uh, pin on the fly. You don't have to worry about getting a, a screwdriver or Allen key. Sorry for getting so close to the camera. Just trying to, you know, get intimate, I guess. Uh, I like the door. The door is very nice. Uh, other than that, I would say let's go to the negatives. The first negative is the overwhelming. It is large. Uh, you can't get past that. It's a 21700 dual squonk mod you know, it's going to be big. So you know what you're getting into when you're buying it. You know it's going to be big. Uh, the overwhelming elephant in the room is this button. I feel like that button is very unattractive. I feel like it breaks up what's left of the aestheticness of this. Uh, I feel like they could have done it better than this. Uh, I wish that this was a PA-12. It's not. It's a dyed mod, and that is very relevant or relevant or very noticeable when you take an RDA off and you see a little bit of the dye underneath that's gonna happen and this thing's gonna look worn over time if I use this consistently it'll probably have the lines of my fingers because that's where it's gonna wear into and that is you know I wish they would have gone with that this thing is very smooth so it can be a little bit slippery so that is a another slight negative other than that the last negative to me was these bottles they included I feel like these were you know garbage but yeah, that being said, guys, I like this thing overall. Ooh, almost dropped it. I like this thing overall. I like the I like the uniqueness. I like the fact that you can put two different RDAs on here. I like the fact that you can vape different e-juices at the same time. It 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 appeals to me personally. I like the uniqueness in the world of everything being the same. This thing is on the right track. Maybe they can find a better way to do it. Maybe they can find a sexier way to do it other than this big on-off switch, like I'm going into a room. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that being said, guys, if you can find this, to me, I think it's cool. I think it's nice. It will be a nice collection piece, a nice conversation starter. I think it's very cool. Well, that was the, I don't think it has a name, the Dual RDA Squonk Mod by Lizard Box Mods. Uh, it is a one of three, so, you know, there's always that. But yeah, guys, if you like maybe some, some cotton, maybe some tweezers, you want some e-juice, 
Well, use my discount code at Premium Vape Supply. Get 20% off your whole purchase. Whether that's here, or where? Here, or maybe even here. Where's the last place it could be? Here. Get 20% off your whole purchase. Yes. All right, guys, check out Lion Wholesale. Uh, they have great batteries, great prices. It's a uh, supporter of the channel, a sponsor of the channel, if you will. Go check them out. Link will be in the description. To get your battery needs. And the last thing I can say to you guys is I will be giving a device away from Mr. GK himself for my milestone of a thousand subscribers. And the only way I can really give it away is if you guys comment below. Uh, put a times one at the end of your sentence, whatever you say, then put times one so I know to put you in the uh, the drawing. I have no other way to do it. I'm going to use a randomizer on my Facebook group and we'll get it kicked off from there. Now, always be safe with these kind of devices, guys, because this is not regulated. Know your Ohm's Law, please, and just, just be safe. Put a, you know, a decent build in it. Don't go crazy. It is a beautiful device. Just know what you're doing. Uh, that being said, guys, I do thank you very much for subscribing and always watching and commenting. Everybody that has supported me over this last year-ish, I, I appreciate it. You know what I mean? A thousand subscribers, nothing. it's nothing to scoff at. You know, sometimes you have to vape something that looks like it would go somewhere you don't want it to go. But that being said, guys, let's do this.